So we're at Waldo Fernandez's studio today, which is a real treat. It is one of the most beautiful studios. This is where he makes all the magic happen. Come inside. So why don't you take us on a little tour of this gym? Okay, well, as you can see, we have our beautiful knife edge installed here. This and, is like the longest um, one you've probably ever made, huh? But, um, you know, it's actually gotten longer. Really? Where was that? That was at the one. Up at Sunset? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So when we came to this project, it was highly requested that we incorporate our knife edge. So Waldo came up with this wonderful concept of um, building a sort of floating structure that we could showcase our knife edge in. So that's amazing. So obviously, so that's interesting. It's an architectural element. This doesn't actually serve as a beam or a purpose. It's just housing the light. Yeah, we were able to incorporate the knife edge into um, to kind of blend with the existing structures. Yeah, it's really incredible. I love that. Come, let me see a little bit more over here. Okay, so over here. Oh, this yeah. is beautiful too. This knife edge right over the table, like perfectly. Yeah, so this is a great conference space that they have. Um, you can see again, utilizing our knife edge. And then they're accompanied by the Harmony Recess Downlight. So you can see they use double adjustables, which gives you the option of highlighting the um, bookcase while also angling one of the lights down for general lighting. That's interesting how it's painted black on the inside. And then on these ones, it's white, which is interesting. I like that. Yeah, I think that a lot of times when people are utilizing the knife edge, it's um, there for for function, but it's also there for beauty. So you really want to make the knife edge stand out and kind of be the, the star of the space. So now what do we have over here? So the knife edge, oh, there's two of them now. Yeah, so you'll see it continues um, down this walkway over here. And then also we have another um, run over to our side as well. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a really beautiful application because it doesn't really distract. Um, or detract from any of the furniture. It just kind of complements the space. Right. And, and feels um, like you're having that industrial look, but still very elegant. Well, you can tell from the ceiling, this is from the 1920s. This is obviously in some kind of a factory of some sort, but it certainly is different now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, it's stunning. Josh, I want to bring your attention to, if you look up into the knife edge, you can actually see that there's a beam running through it. You had asked if this was um, already part of the structure. You painted the beam. Yeah, it gives the illusion of a continuous run, but actually, yeah, oh, we just great. we just painted those beams, so um, it disappears clever. right in there. Um, I want to show you in one more space. Let me see. Um, in their bathroom, they actually did something really special as well. Now, Josh, I don't want you eating all the candy, okay? No, not yet. Okay. And maybe the booze for later. Maybe the booze for later. <laughs> um, so if you come into their bathroom, um, you can see that they incorporated our linear coat. What do you got here? Oh, I remember this. Okay, yeah, so you remember us installing yeah. this in your home. So just as a reminder, um, because we use plaster for our LED tape channels, you're able to create a continuous run with no seams, no trims, and then most importantly, no lens. So you can actually reach right inside of the product so you can access your LED tape. Um, and then all of the seams are simply mudded with a uh, mudding plaster to hide all of the seams. And I like how, yeah, I don't remember ever seeing it go up the wall. And that, that's interesting. I don't remember seeing that before. Yeah, so um, the product itself is field cut cuttable, so you can create your own angles, but we do manufacture 90 degree angles and wall the ceiling parts as well. So um, those can be easily incorporated Fantastic. into um, your design. Love it. Great. So Josh, what you see here is actually the end cap for our knife edge. Um, and I want to show you this because sometimes people have a hard time conceptualizing how this works. So um, imagine this is the end of your knife edge run. The way that this is installed is that the product hangs over the lip of your drywall. Mm. So um, you bring your drywall um, to the edge of the product, 5 8 drywall, and then you would um, screw through your drywall into the product. And then when you're finished, you're going to tape and mud 
over the edge of the product so it just leaves this opening. Got it. Um, and then these spot head arms are fully adjustable so they can be angled inside the cove, they can be pulled out of the cove as well. Love it. Yeah. And that comes in white too. This comes in black and white, and then um, you can also get a custom color as well. Really? I like black and white because I think they hide the, the wires and components Or you better. could just, if you wanted a custom color, you could have it sprayed. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. We have a local guy that we use. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, All right. great. Well, what a beautiful tour today. This is one of the prettiest places. This is one of my favorite showrooms, definitely. I love it. Yeah, so um, hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more at the next one. I love it.